Well, hello everyone. Professor Prophet coming to you from Craps University with session 10 of our Dark Side Craps series. Through nine sessions, we're up $685 after losing $190 in session nine. I've been thinking uh, quite a bit about how best to um, utilize the Dark Side system. Um, it seems like a lot of the sessions before this that the dark side has actually ended up costing more money than it's saved. So what I think I'm going to try to do in session 10, I'm going to uh, use my step down system, which if you followed uh, this channel for very long, you know that's my favorite system, the one I think that's most effective. Uh, I'm going to, rather than laying one number, I'm going to lay both the four and the 10 only when I have a fully populated board on the step down system. I'm going to lay the same amount of money that I am betting on those two numbers for the first roll. So say I have a $50 bet on the 4 and the 10, I'll have a $50 lay on both of those. So if I 7 out, uh, I won't lose all my money. I will uh, gain some of the money back from laying the 4 and the 10. Uh, however, if I do have a score hit, then I can take down those outside numbers, in this case being the 4 and the 10, and also go ahead and take down the lay bets. And uh, so we're going to try that uh, during session 10, and we'll see how that works out. Uh, as we've been doing, we're going to start out with a, a $1,000 buy-in. That's $400 in the black chips, $100 chips, $500 in the $25 green chips, and $100 in the $5 red chips. So let's go ahead and get the chips out of the way, and we'll start session 10 and uh, see if this little adjustment that we have made works out. All right, we're going to be playing on a $25 table. So uh, $25 pass line bet. So we'll have be able to throw, and we'll go with the don't pass to cancel that out. And the only way we can lose money on the come out roll will be if we uh, throw the, uh, the 12. Okay, we're going to start off with two units, $50 on all six numbers, except the six and the eight, of course, would be $60. So we'll put those there. And as we've done in the past, we'll move these down out of the way. The receiving station we have has the numbers up against the back wall. And someone asked me, how can you have the numbers up against the back wall? And my answer was, uh, poor design by the carpenter, which was me. Uh, but who knew? Next time I'll know. Okay, in addition now, we are going to put a $50 lay bet on both the 4 and the 10. And that will give us some protection protection because we'll have a fully populated board. And what I mean by that, all six numbers are bet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, have all of this working. The place best to be working. The lay bets will be working. And we will be throwing the 3635 set. And uh, see if we can hit a few numbers here and win a little money. So session 10 underway, we'll be throwing uh, left-handed, and we'll be throwing from stick right one. Dice are in hand, getting ready for the first throw, and it's away. Okay, there's the 10, so we did get a score hit, so that'll pay uh, 2 to 1, $100, and we have to pay the VIG on that. Somebody reminded me I forgot to do that in one of the earlier sessions. So we got that done. And we'll rack those. $5 goes there. And we'll pick that up. And the two outside numbers come down. We lose the lay bet because we did throw a 10. So that goes away. And we'll pick up the 4 because we don't need the lay bet anymore because we are down to four numbers. We no longer have a fully populated board. Move the uh, puck over to the 10, and we'll uh, get the die set. Throw them again. All right, let's see if we can keep it going. Throws away. Nice throw there. That's what we're looking for in a, in a good throw, is one that uh, lands and dies right near the wall, stays together, 
and there's also a score hit, which that one is $70 hit. So we'll take the uh, 75 for 5 payout. And once again, that's a score hit, so we'll take the two outside numbers down. And 3 5 is already set. There's a 3 6. And now we're looking for a 6 or an 8. If we can hit that, we'll complete this level. Throws away. There's the 6. So that's another $70 hit. And we will complete that level. And that means we step down from two units to one unit. So we'll put one unit on all of the uh, numbers again. And in doing so, we'll also uh, put a $25 or one unit place bet, or excuse me, lay bet on the uh, four and the 10. And we'll pull these numbers down. And on this 10, we're going to move this and just put it behind the pass line. Get a little better odds there. And then we can pull that down if we have a score hit here that's not a 10. Okay, dice are in hand. Stick right one. Okay, nice throw. There's that 10 again. So once again, we lose uh, lose the lay bet. So that goes away. We uh, hit 25 on the pass line, front line winner. Two to one odds behind, so we'll pay all that off. And we lose the don't pass, so that goes away. goes off. Score hit. We'll also pick up the outside number of the four. And we're starting over. So pass line don't pass. We're not fully populated. So we're picking up the leather lay bit. We'll turn the button on. Get our dice set. And three, six, three, five. And looking for an inside number here. All right, there's the eight, six, two, eight. So that'll pay $35. Nice little hit there. We'll rack that up. Two outside numbers come down on the score hit. And so now we're down to the six and the eight once again. Let's see if we can hit one of those. Hope that's right. So we'll move that the eight there, and then we're going to move this behind the line, and we're good to go. Rose way. There's the easy four, 31 four. Nothing there. So we'll pick the dice up and try it again. That's a nice throw. Looking for a six or an eight. Dice in hand. There's the eight. All right. So we win 25 up front. Front line winner. And so we have 30 behind, it's 6 to 5, so I think that'll be 36 behind. So we win that. And we'll rack all this up. We lose the don't pass. Button goes off. And we're going to go ahead and repopulate the board again, still at one unit. So we get all our numbers covered, fully populated board, 
pass line don't pass and once again we'll uh, put an equal bet on the four and the ten we lay those everything is working on the come out roll three six three five stick right one throwing left-handed obviously if you're right-handed you'll be throwing uh, your stick left one so there's a yo so on uh, horn numbers 2 3 11 and 12 we always take down the outside numbers as if it was a score hit yeah that was on so we're going to take down the four and the ten which means we're not fully populated, so we'll take down the two lay bets also. Okay, we lose the uh, don't pass, but we win the pass line, so that's a wash. So we just leave that as is. And throw them again. Looking for a nice, easy throw that just touches the wall. There it is. That's what we're looking for. There's the five. That pays seven to five, so a twenty-five dollar bet will be a thirty-five dollar win. So we'll move that on up. Pick up our two outside numbers, the five and the nine. Move the puck to the five, and now we're looking for a six or an eight. Back to our throwing station here, and again the throwing station is uh, nothing more than a bar stool. It's got a felt seat. It happens to be the right height, so uh, we do like that. Okay, snake eyes, double ones. It's a good hand in poker. Doesn't help us any at the craps table. Unless, of course, you're betting it. Let's try it again. Seven out, okay. So uh, first uh, first round was a good one for us. We lose uh, sixty dollars there, so that goes to the casinos, and uh, lose the pass line bet when they don't pass. So that's a wash. So we'll just leave that out there. And round one is over. So let's try it again. Two units all the way across. Three twenty across. And then the lay bets, the four and the ten, also for two units. Fully populated board. So that'll give us a little protection from catastrophe if we should um, seven out here on the first roll. We're going to turn everything on and see if we can avoid going big red twice in a row. All right, nice in hand. Here we go. Three, six, nine, center field nine. So that's a $70 winner. So we'll pay that 75 and give the casino back five and change. Always a good deal. So we'll do that. Take down the two outside numbers, the four and the 10. The board's not fully populated now. So we'll take down the four and the 10 lay bets. We'll move the puck to the nine. And we'll move the nine back behind the pass line, get a little better odds. Get three to two there. So we'll get $75 if we happen to throw a nine here. We're looking for an inside number. Dice in hand. Nice throw. Hard eight. A hard eight. So that's another $70 winner. Like that. 75 for five once again. And take down the two outside numbers. It's the five and the nine, which is behind the pass line. And so that leaves us once again with the six and the eight. And we need to throw one of those to complete this level. 
and completing levels is how you rack up some nice profit using the step down system. All right, here we go. Nice easy throw. Okay, yo 11. So uh, normally we would take down two inside numbers, but if we do that, we'll just repopulate the board. So we're going to just leave those alone. Because what we're trying to do when we start throwing horn numbers is uh, uh, reduce our risk. And if we take down the six and the eight, which are uh, $60 on each number, that's 120 and take those down to one unit and repopulate the board, then that puts us at 160 which is actually more risk. Uh, plus the lay bets, I guess, would make it come out about a wash. So we'll leave it as is and just see what happens here. All right, there's six, four, easy 10. So we will pay the field on that one. If anybody's betting the field, they'll be happy with you on that one. I've had um, some requests. There's a seven out. I've had some requests on filming from a different angle where you can see me grip the dice and throw the dice. Uh, we lose 120 there. And this, of course, is a wash. Pass, don't pass. And I'm going to try to do that. Um, I haven't figured out exactly how to do it just yet where it looks uh, presentable and you can see things as well as you need to see them. But um, I know that I'm working on that and I hope to have one of those videos up before too long. Uh, one adjustment I've made in my throw uh, is with my feet and that's something when you're throwing you don't really think about. Um, but I have been standing with my feet just parallel to the edge of the table. And what the adjustment I have made, I have, uh, if you're a baseball fan and you understand hitting, you'll know what an open stance is when the batter has an open stance. And I'm using an open stance now. Again, I'm throwing left-handed. So my right foot is still parallel or facing directly in towards the table. But my left foot is back at a 45-degree angle. Uh, from my right foot. My left foot is probably uh, about a foot behind my right foot. So that kind of opens up uh, my chest to the back wall and uh, not totally but about three quarters or about a quarter of the way or half of the way I would say. And uh, that seems to be working a little better as far as the uh, uh, velocity on my throws. It helps me control that a little better which I like. Um, that um, Keeps it from hitting the wall so hard and makes them land a little softer. So uh, this is the first time I've used this in a video. So, so far it's worked okay and we'll just continue to do it and see how it does in the future. Uh, once again, we have a fully populated board, 320 across, and we have uh, two units each on the lay, laying the four and the 10. Uh, buttons on so everything is working. Uh, this is the come out roll. Let's see if we can hit a good number here. Okay, two, four, easy six. So that is a good number. So that'll pay 70. $60 bet. Seven to six is 70. So we'll do the 75 for five exchange. And take that down. Okay, we take down the two outside numbers on score hit, which means the board is not fully populated any longer. So we can take down these lay bets and get that out of the way. We're going to move the puck to the six. And we'll move the bet there behind the line. Get a little better odds there. So we've got uh, 60 bet, six to five. So let's just drop it to 50 and then we'll still win 60. It'll get a little more of the money out of the way. All right, here we go. 
Looking for an inside number here. Got the stance slightly opened up. Throws away. Nice pace on that one. Three did bounce a little hard, but it hit pretty soft. Just, just rolled. And that's another uh, score hit on the 325. No field five. That's a $70 hit. So we'll do the exchange once again. Get that out of the way. And of course on score hits, the two outside numbers, the five and the nine in this case, go in our rack. And we'll get the dice set. Looking for a six or an eight to complete this level. Here we go. Okay, that's a little soft. They might get on you there at the casino if you don't hit that back wall. 3-2, uh, no fill, 5. So no help, no, no harm there. So we'll try that again. Yeah, it was a little strong there, but it was a score hit, the hard three. So that'll pay uh, 60 behind the line. So we'll pay that off. And pick that up. The pass line bet, of course, wins. The don't pass loses. So that's a wash. So we'll leave that alone. Turn that off. And we've completed that level. So we'll go down to one unit on all the numbers. And one unit on the 4 and the 10 while the board is fully populated. Turn the button on. 3536. Got our feet set. Got our die set. Throws away. And snake eyes. So we win the pass line, the don't pass, we lose the pass line. So again, that is just a wash. However, that is a horn number, so the two outside numbers come down just like a score hit. Or it is not fully populated any longer, so we're going to take down the lay bets also. And try this again, see if we can get a number established on this throw, looking for an inside number. Dice in hand. Throws away. 6-2, easy 8. So that's a $35 hit. We'll pay that off. Two outside numbers, 5 and the 9 come down. Button moves to the 8. We'll put that behind the pass line. Get 6 to 5 odds instead of 7 to 6, which is a little better. 6 to 5 is a little better, obviously, for you math whizzes. And we are ready to go. Dice in hand. Feet set. Throws away. Wow. That deserved a lot better than a seven. Uh, that was a beautiful throw. Exactly what we're looking for except for the result. Okay, so we lose that. And we lose the pass line. We win the don't pass. So I think at this point we're going to call that a session, the end of session 10. And we've got a lot of green ones here, so let's color these up, the black ones, and then we'll take a count and see how we did. One, two, three, four, five hundred. Six, seven, eight. Let's get eight black ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put these up. All right, now see how we did. 
Again, there's a thousand dollar buy in, so let's get that out of the way. So there's our buy in, a thousand. It's 300 profit. It's 350. It's four. It's 450. 454. So let's give, give 19 to our dealers as a tip. And let's see, 1, 2, 3, 400, 425, 435. So a uh, $435 profit on session 10. So that's a nice um, nice session for us. So 435 added to 685. And this won't be official because I'm doing this in my head. I think that'll put us up $1,020 during the Dark Side Crap series. So uh, I did kind of like the way that worked out. I think we only... Uh, hit the uh, got paid on the lay bet a couple of times but uh, I think for what it's designed to do in this series it's probably uh, our best usage of it that we found so far so we'll probably do another uh, another session uh, just doing the same thing uh, just to confirm or not confirm that this is going to work out uh, well so we do uh, thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you got anything out of it, we ask that you uh, crunch that thumbs up button. And also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. We would uh, love to have you right along with us, and it would help the channel out enormously. Uh, we try different strategies, and uh, we uh, try them over uh, several sessions just to get a good feel of what works and what doesn't work. So if you have a strategy that you've tried in the past and you feel uh, uh, confident that it's a good one, uh, we would love to hear what it is and we will try it out in a future video. So once again, uh, Professor Prophet coming to you from Craps University. We do thank you for joining us. If you're out in those casinos this week, we do wish you the best of luck and may all your throws be winners. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.